everyone, welcome to another Simon Says Stamp video. Today I'm going to be using three different stamp sets from Hero Arts. These are three new stamp sets from their 2012 release. And the first set is this um, with hearts and it's just called Four Hearts. Then we have this one that has a bunch of these circle uh, stamps and they actually have some frame cut dies that you can buy with it. And if you use the ones that are labeled A, they match up with these shapes here. And this stamp set is called Untitled Postmark. And then there's this stamp set right here, which is just called X Up. We're going to start with this one. <clears throat> I'm going to, be, going to be using some Colorbox Fluid Chalk Ink in Chestnut Roan. So I'm going to ink up this stamp here. And I'm just going to start stamping this in a repeating pattern. I'm spacing them out so none of the same letters are right on top of each other. So I don't want an X and then an X. I kind of staggered it. Okay, so now I have this pattern here. Okay, I'm now putting down a clear plastic sheet from a page protector. And I'm going to be using vintage photo ink. I would use color box chalk ink, but chalk ink doesn't blend onto the edges very well. But I did like how crisp it stamped with the clear stamp. So I'm going to be using vintage photo instead. And I'm just going to be bringing in some color along the edges. And these browns are close enough in color that they're not going to look bad together. Okay, so I have that one stamped. And now I have some craft cardstock. This is the actual card base. And I'm going to cut off um, about an inch and an eighth off of the front. I did one and a quarter off the front. I'm going to punch out a simple scallop. This is the scallop sentiment punch from Fiskars. It's going to get a little scallop out of that cream cardstock. Now for the front of the card, I'm going to take the big XO and I'm going to do the same repeating pattern that I did over here. And I'm going to put some post-its along this edge so that I can stamp over it and not worry about it. Okay, so now I'm going to assemble this a little bit. I'm going to open the card up and come to this cut edge. And I'm just going to run adhesive all along that edge on my grid mat, get it lined up. And then I'll come in here and I'll get my card lined up. Okay. And now I'm going to add some adhesive along that edge. I'm going to come over here and add it along this edge right here. Okay. Now I can kind of place this right here so it'll be the perfect edge on the card. And then just close. And then I have the basic front of the card. Now we're going to do some other little elements on the sentiment. Some more of that cream cardstock here. And I'm going to use one of these large hearts on my Fisker stamp press. And I'm going to be using Distress Ink and Festive Berries. It is a seasonal color, so you might think it's only for Christmas. But it's a really great Valentine's color as well. I'm going to stamp uh, one of the stamp. I'm going to do this one right here. And I'll do that one in the brown color we've been using, the color box chestnut roan. Just put that down in the corner. I'm going to do a little bit of this festive berries just on the corner here. I'm just coloring the cardstock. Okay, I'm using a one and three quarter inch punch to punch out this little shape. Then I'm going to use this little heart punch. This is from EK Success. It comes in a set with uh, this punch and then another little one that has a crown on it. I'm just gonna punch that out of the red area. I'm leaving a little bit of an edge on it. 
Okay, I'm gonna take this little guy and the heart, and I'm gonna take the heart and put a little bit of dimensional adhesive on the back of it. Put that little heart in the center. Okay, I want this color cardstock to be red, so I'm gonna go ahead and color it with the festive berries. Just give it a few good swipes here. And I'm going to go in with this Hugs and Kisses stamp and use Colorbox Pigment Ink in Frost White. And just get a little, get that stamp on there. Okay, I'm going to cut off these little ends. Lovely. Now I'm going to start assembling the card. It's going to go just like that. I'm just going to put everything on dimensional adhesive and then adhere it to the card. Okay, I'm going to round these corners with the We Are Memory Keepers Corner Chomper. I'm going to use a brown marker to add dashed lines along that edge. Okay, and that's the card for today. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will catch you next week for another Simon Says Stamp video. Thanks for watching.